Beautiful evening here at Thunderbird Stadium where the West are victors, 26-24 in the end. A late penalty by Eric Wilson was the difference, but a really uh, a tough affair with some big hits going in. I'm joined now by coach uh, from the West, Tony Medina, and his inside center, David Spicer. David, not the first half you're looking for. The East got into you and scored some good tries. Yeah, in the, uh, in the first half we were a bit frantic and uh, we didn't do the rough work first. We didn't secure our own ball and that kind of took its own toll. In the second half, we just kind of took it back a step, did the basics right, and uh, got in the front foot, got some good territory, and uh, yeah, we came up with the win. You did score a great set-piece try, uh, the inside ball. Uh, talk us through that one, the turnover ball, and you guys moved it wide, some good offloading. Yeah, like one thing Tony has stressed since day one is offload. He wants to play a really up-tempo game, and uh, with the backs and the back row we have, we were able to score a couple tries in this game from offloads, and uh, just something we've been working all week on, and it came to fruition today. Great. Well, uh, Coach Tony Medina, obviously uh, the halftime talk was the difference. The boys came out pretty much a different side. I thought the forward, uh, the East forwards didn't dominate as they did in the first half. What was the message at halftime, and were you happy with the second half performance? Uh, really happy with the uh, second half performance. I think, uh, as you said, it was a game of two halves. Basically, we said at, uh, at halftime, let's, let's think about what we worked on all week, work on the basics. Uh, we, we, we were going backwards, trying to spin it wide, uh, not winning our own possessions, not winning our own... Uh, set pieces, not putting the numbers in there. Second half they came out, uh, we scrapped the uh, the wide option, uh, yeah. punched it up the middle and uh, that's the result. So the revolutionary base, space and pace tactics, did it come off? Are you going to stick with it? Uh, we're going to stick with it, I think it works. Base, work on your basics, um, you know, pace, do everything with speed, thought and action and, uh, and, and, and play to the spaces, which I think we did well towards the end of the game. I, I, was, I was pleased with the all-round effort. And any players really stand out for you? Anyone surprised you maybe raise their game a, a notch for this level, this standard of rugby? Uh, it didn't surprise me, but um, I think Scotty Franklin's coming on. I think um, Nanyak Dala yeah. um, is all over the place. Uh, Scotty put a really nice hit on a, on a crucial time yeah. in the game. And, but, uh, yeah, I'm happy. So, David, how about your old under-21 mate, Jared Selby, getting crushed by Franklin? That's probably the moment of the match. Uh, it was a big hit. Uh, I think he's all right. He's hobbling off, but uh, you don't want those as a back. No, you don't. It was a big turning point for us, but you never want to see a teammate and friend get hit like that. And I went and chatted with him after, and he said it's not going to be too serious. So right. good, good for him. hope he gets back on the field soon. Good. And uh, the truth to the rumor, did the coach pull you from the kicking duties? Eric Wilson got the winner. You tried a couple early on. Left with a drop goal. Not not what you're looking for. Uh, I'm just trying to set up EW. You know? oh, I, I okay. went for the shank so I could give him the three. No, no, no. Eric, I, <laughs> Eric's rock steady, and I uh, missed hit a couple. So I actually told him as well, you do the kicking, and then Hyde's passed the same message from the sidelines. And uh, he stepped up, and our whole team has all the confidence in Eric. He's an awesome player, and he showed that today. Cool. Well, if we're getting kicking messages for me and Hydley, then it is a special night. Still here at Thunderbird Stadium, joined by the Eastern contingent, who were narrowly lost tonight, 26-24, the West won with a late kick. Simon Blanks, the coach, and uh, Webby, the captain on the day. Uh, a very, very good first half. I think a lot of the local fans here, especially the West supporters, didn't think you guys were going to come out of the gate that strongly. Yeah, I actually, to be honest, I thought we were terrible in the first 20, and then uh, I thought we played about... 35 strong minutes in the middle of the middle of the game, and then uh, obviously we tanked a bit at the end, which was uh, seriously disappointing for me, yeah. and I know it was for Simon and certainly for the guys in the room. Yeah, Simon, definitely uh, we felt after Wednesday night, you know, were you guys going to be up to it even in, in the game? But I thought your players responded well, especially your forward pack, who were kept the ball off the ground is obviously something you've been working on, and really put a lot of pressure on on the West forwards. And I thought you won that battle in the first half. Absolutely. Uh, the scoreline speaks for itself in the first half, but I mean, I don't know what uh, Tony said to the boys at halftime, but they certainly got stoked. Um, and in fairness to the West, they completely deserve their win. Uh, I think we got out of our half once in the entire second half, and you can't win if you're in your own end. <laughs> it's as simple as that. They, to they totally deserve their win. I got no... Nothing. They were fantastic. They kept, they kept possession, they kept the pressure on, they kept us pegged back, and we just couldn't get out, and there's no way we could score, so it was just a case of... Uh, how long we could keep them out, and unfortunately, we couldn't keep them out quite long enough. For you, Mike, uh, sort of experience, the Zona senior players, a useful experience for you. Obviously, Rick Suggett's here, and that's the end goal for all you yeah. new players is to, to impress. Is it a useful game tonight for that? Oh, absolutely. I think, uh, you know, head to head matchups, great, good for Sluggo to see what's yeah. going on. Um, obviously, evaluates players in the high pressure competition, and as far as I'm concerned, this is as, as close as we can get to a test. In Canada, without uh, without going outside, and I, it's yeah, a great exercise for us, I think. Well, on that note, Simon, you being from the the Far East, it was a good battle, and it was a little bit of rivalry there. Any players that really stood out for you on, on your side? I'm just delighted with the fact that the the guys came out to be counted today. 
especially Wednesday, the, the plan was to get the guys that have had no rugby under their belt at all, their first game, to, to play the majority of the game, and then get the guys that are out here with the Cardiff program and some of the others that are playing out this neck of the woods. They were the, the core of the starting team, and it showed. So um, those guys in particular, the forward pack stood out. We took a little while to get into our stride, but the, our back row more than competed with, in fact, dominated their back row for the vast majority of the game. And when you consider that their back row were the key to that massive win on Wednesday night, that was a, that's a huge success. So um, your man, I, I know he doesn't like to take credit and he's disappointed, but he's not gone and his uh, little thing at the end of it, but he had a magnificent game today, not only himself, but as the captain of the team. So I'm particularly delighted with him. But. Well, there you have it here at Thunderbird Stadium, a narrow loss, and you heard the coach and captain disappointed there, but uh, really a lot of people surprised with their performance and lots to build on as they enter into the next stage of this North American Four competition. From uh, Thunderbird Stadium, I'm Gareth Reese signing off.